Hey everyone, it's still the 11th of September, it's 23.45 hours, so this video I'm pretty sure may last longer than 15, maybe not, no, it's 23.46 now. Anyways, I just wanted to make one last video because today, for some reason, it felt like it has been a productive day, if I may say so myself. Um... At least I think it has. I'm sure other people have better time management and can do more, but for me, it felt like an okay day. I applied for a, what would be a, I used to work at an optometrist office, which is, an eye doctor, but it's also an optical store. Like it, like it's, a, it's an, an optical store at the same time. So it's like a little bit of both. And um, so this job that I apply for, it's almost kind of like the same in a way. It's for a, a farm, a pharmacy, a pharmacy intern at MRS, MRH. I mean. So we'll see what happens. I um I want to show you guys the avocados. Well, I already showed them to you in pictures in one of the previous videos. The reason why I climbed the tree—that's another thing I was able to do today. I vacuumed several times because it's just amazing how it gets dirty so quickly as some of you may notice i was able to get a haircut i'm happy about that um what i'm a little dumbfounded about was a video i posted on the 18th of last month where someone really showed their true colors and um, I'm not gonna speak much of it because that's why now I have the 11th, which I plan, I want to keep, but I have to check with uh, Patreon to see when it is that they do their, their uh, you know, when they pay because I can't afford to put something up then somebody uh, decides to, uh, whatever, you know, uh, cancel their, their subscription after they have seen the content. I gotta do it right this time. Oh, I applied for Publix. I figured out a way. Young man who's Cuban, whose name is Jason. He's a great cashier at Publix store number 1570, Village Square. He told me there is a way I could apply for just regular jobs like cashiers because when you go into the new interface, it just shows like, uh, like, like not corporate, but like jobs for like, that are like things that are they looking for spe specifically. A lot of it is in Lakeland, out of state. One that I did apply for recently was for a warehouse of lecture in Miami so we'll see how that goes but nonetheless let's see if I can um, cause like I said I could barely remember what I did yesterday three days ago let alone a week ago so let's go into page where it shows the new videos okay this one's finally uploaded it took about like I don't know three four hours 9-11 compilation which is uh I think that's the first video where I introduced a new outro so that I can promote the Patreon because 
like mom said, my content is not interested. I have no talent. But then again, there are approximately 8 billion people in this world. You never know what some people are into. So, why not give it a chance? At the very least, with my diary, I can kind of sort of leave a legacy for the, for my uh, for the time when I am no longer occupying this space time. The three hour challenge video I did the other day, but it literally took like three days to upload. So that one, that one doesn't count. And also one thing I realized while I was doing the challenge, I had, I had wanted some coffee. So I took the laptop with me so you can see the counter, you know, it wasn't strictly, I didn't just stay in one place. Uh, okay. This is what I thought. The day that mom's friend came here, where we had to uh, clean the area where I, I can, where I'm allowed to crash. That was yesterday, not today. So I guess I was not as productive as I was. Although I did, well, I was able to uh, mop the kitchen and mop the area where Papa Alex is. Because, because he eats there, there's usually crumbs and then there's, there's sometimes stains build up. But more than likely, who won't notice it? People have a tendency, like, if it's dirt, if it's dirtier, unless it's super dirty, they won't say anything. And then once it's clean, it's like, it, it didn't even matter. It's weird, it's, it's weird like that. But yeah, overall, I'm happy about the Patreon. Not because anyone joined or I expect anyone to join, but just because Especially after hearing that angry rant on the August 18th video and all the things that were said about me, it's, it's disturbing. It's, and it's just, what did I expect? When you meet someone for the very first time in your life and they're in the bed just crying because they don't have their medicine. Automatically take that as a red flag. Please. Anybody listening out there. No. I can't say it's all bad. You know. My queen, she did give light to the princess. Whom I love dearly. But. If you see the video from the 18th, she actually uses her as a way to uh, to 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 make a pun to 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 punish me. She said that I will not be able to see her anymore, <laughs> which I don't know who that would punish more, me or her, but. When I say her, I'm in the princess, okay? And also, being a single parent is hard. And I'm not gonna speak anymore on it. I'll wait till the 11th because there is a lot a lot, a lot that just like all these lies are said about me. I'm not saying I'm planning on lying. All I'm saying is I'm planning on telling the ugly truth. Now, love 
keeps no record of wrong, okay? And God is love. So if you believe in, a high, in, your, in your higher power, then you have nothing to worry about. But if you're one without faith, without belief, things like that, and also when you love, it teaches you to forgive, things like that will haunt you and will and you'll still feel guilt and you'll still feel regret in my opinion and i think that is something that seems to be happening because why would someone get upset about something that if essentially they had grown and they recovered or are in recovery they know they're not that person anymore and part of recovery in my opinion is learning to forgive forgive others and most importantly to forgive yourself but if those actions aren't taken I really don't feel like that's true recovery but that's my opinion so, I just end this video with, uh, have a great evening. Thank you for being with me on this day today. Today was September 11th, which was a very tragic, which was a tragedy back 23, 23 years ago. Everybody recalls where they were. I was at work. I remember we got a bunch of phone calls from like, mostly older people but a lot of older people came to our office and they were saying no oh, I, I can't come into my appointment it's the end of the world yada 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 when we got wind that people were canceling because it was something very like horrifying going on which was a terrorist attack we went to the third room which at the time was the office of the nutritionist there was also a nutritionist that worked in that office and we got a little uh, like black screen TV, you know, that, that picks up terrestrial channels, which all showed it and we saw it happening. <laughs> but of course the government knew about it. And before you think I'm starting to start a conspiracy theory when it comes to branches like that are supposed to maintain security like the FBI, CIA for abroad, um, you know, what was that new one that spies, the NSA, they were fully aware that there was a pair of males that were training to uh, fly a jumbo jet or whatever, a jet. They were training they were training on how to take off but they never took the time to train on how to land now in order to be in one of those uh you know those groups that i mentioned fbi whatever 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 you have to be a very smart individual very very smart sometimes to recruit them they, they make them do these weird these tests that a lot of people don't even pass and a lot of people that do end up being in these services they're lawyers they, they're multilingual you know they're they're the best of the best so they were fully aware before the attacks there were people that were learning to learn how to fly the plane, like how to take off or whatever, and then keep it in the air, but not able to land it. How would, of all of the minds combined in all of those uh, offices or whatever, how would none of them come to the conclusion that there is something fishy about that? It's just common sense. They knew about it. The Bin Laden family has associations with the Bush family because, you know, usually people with power 
no other people with power. So. If I'm not mistaken, the Bin Laden family is known for construction out in the, you know, in that side of the world. They're like one of the biggest, they built roads, they built buildings, I think. I don't know exactly what else. Uh, while the Bush family is primarily oil. But anyways, that's for a whole nother episode. In this day is a day to grieve for all those who passed. You know, it was a very, it was a terrible tragedy. I don't wish that on any of my enemies. And I guess we'll have to wait to see when the next one happens because these things happen for reasons. Like that one that one uh, law that was passed where now they're allowed to surveil nationals, you know, not people from abroad, but nationals, you know, in order to protect us. Ideally, is to protect us from terrorism. So let's hope that that's what it is. But um, yeah, you know, rights get taken away, government gets more power, yada yada yada. You know the whole story. Anyways, peace and love to everybody who's watching. Please, I ask you to subscribe. It really helps. Like the videos share them if you can and also i already started like i said in my past video loading it on my patreon uh tier one i'm gonna try to load daily uh tier two will be a monthly tier and i don't ex i really don't expect anybody to join if a couple people join for the five dollar tier that'll make me happy if anybody joins for the other tier which is for Sino, that'll make me surprised. I'm not saying it's not possible because like I said, eight billion, that's a large number. Maybe Mr. Beast <laughs> can do that for his next challenge, count to eight billion. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, everybody. Thanks, ciao.